What is an FACP? An FACP is a fire alarm control panel. More specifically, this is a VS1 fire alarm control panel, VS1 FACP. This is capable of holding 64 points, 32 modules, 32 smoke detectors, heat detectors, duct detectors. Modules are there to monitor something that's non-intelligent, so that way it's like an interface to the fire alarm control panel. So things that cannot directly connect to a FACP needs a module or an interface to connect to the FACP. So over here we have three relays and we have our 24 volts power and non-resettable 24 volts power. These three relays are used in conjunction. If there's an alarm, the alarm relay will fire. If there's a trouble, the trouble will fire. If there's a supervisory, meaning that a tamper switch is open or there's some type of water flow indication, then that supervisory relay will fire. You could use these relays to trip maybe an external DAC, which is a digital alarm communicator, something that reports to the central station. So these can trip when the alarm go off, the alarm relay will activate, will then trip an input on that digital DAC to say whatever that zone is. Could be zone for smoke detectors, could be zone for pole station. So next, after that, down here, we have the main power, which is power of this FACP. This right here is your SLC. This indicates a class B, meaning that one wire is going out to the last device and then it stopped. A class A will be that wire at the end will come all the way back to the panel, then connect to this terminal right here, the secondary terminal. So this wire right here connects to the smoke detectors, all the modules, pole stations, duct detectors, anything that's intelligent that reports back a condition to the fire alarm control panel will be connected on this wire. Here, this circuit right here is for your remote enunciator. Usually these fire alarm control panels are in the basement, in the electric room, or in some remote location. So you will have a, re a remote enunciator that will mirror this front display maybe at your lobby entrance it's a small little panel that just, the fire department will go straight to to see what type of alarm that they see that happened in that particular building over here to know that this is a vs1 panel because we only have two NAC circuits if we had two more circuits here that would be four circuits this would be a vs4 which can handle up to almost a thousand points so these two NAC circuits connect to the horns and the strobe this is what activate the flash and lights throughout the building and also activate the horns and cadence throughout the building as well here is our front display. So if there's any trouble condition, you will hit the acknowledge panel silence. If the alarm is going off and the fire department responds to your area, there's a signal silence button that they will press here. You press that signal silence button to silence the alarm. So all the horns will shut off and the strobe should still flash. In a normal situation, I have batteries missing. That's why I have one trouble condition. If I had batteries installed, then my system would be normal. Or any condition, actually, other than alarm condition, you could hit this drill button. And what this drill button would do if it's programmed it will activate the outputs meaning that you can have that button just activate a floor entire building you can program to do pretty much anything you want here right here is the reset button after a smoke condition smoke has seen a condition and it went into alarm you will silence the panel you will silence the alarm and you will then reset the system a lot of times there are fans connected to fire alarm control panels and that will take a second step in order to get your fans restarted but usually the fans do not start up after you hit the reset button button, you got to do a secondary step in order to start the fans up. Here is your directional pad. If you have more than one active point, you can scroll to the menu to see all of the active points that are currently in trouble or in fault on a fire alarm system. Here is your number pad where it has the menu. This is your menu button right here. You can go into the menu. You can see reports. You can test the system. You can automate controls. You can program the system directly from the front display. You can check some diagnostics on the system. Usually the SLC loop to see if there's any ground on the, on the modules, you can check to make sure all the devices are talking. A lot of times companies will change their password to whatever they want to change their password to. So you'll be locked out the front display if you do not have the default password or if it's not factory set back to the default password. So this is a FACP a fire alarm control panel with one SLC loop, two NAC circuits, capable of handling 64 points, 32 modules, 32 smokes and heats. And you have two circuits here for your horns and strobes. So that is a fire alarm control panel. Like I said, this specifically is a Kitty VS1 fire alarm control panel. You can find us on our website at www.securitysecurities.com. Also, while you're there, click the login button so you can join the secure community. If you have a system like this installed in your building, you're having trouble, the current company you're working with cannot fix it, give us a shout. We'll come out there and fix it for you for free. My name is Anthony Richardson. I own a minority-owned fire alarm and security company here in New York City. If you have any troubles or have any questions about anything about fire alarm, reach out to us on our website or leave a comment below.